little bit cooler tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to be a lot less humid. We were just talking. It's been a very humid summer. In fact, I think Paul's got, what is it, the comfort tracker? That's right. Comfort tracker is up and uh, it's pretty much stuck between sticky and muggy over the next uh, three days for us. Absolutely. The humidity uh, just continuing to increase tonight as uh, dew point temperatures rise and it's all being brought to us thanks to a storm system working its way eastward out of the west. Now temperatures uh, they're holding in the 60s here uh, the, across a big part of the area this evening. That's a little rain cooled air at the airport showing up at 66 and uh, that was an isolated shower that moved on through through now a thunderstorm in parts of Mercer County. Now the biggest part of the area is uh, remaining dry. That isolated thunderstorm up around the Greenville area. Uh, but I've just noticed over the last few scans here, uh, this is starting to weaken, but still producing a good amount of rain uh, right over the city of Greenville here along 18 and south on 58 there. So uh, dealing with a little bit of rainfall across northwestern Mercer County this evening. Uh, that will lift northward as the evening goes on. A uh, very isolated showers across Ohio. Ohio and some more thunderstorms out into Indiana. But this storm system is just working its way across the southern Great Lakes tonight and we'll be moving on in uh, right into tomorrow. Now, future tracker going to keep that threat of a very small chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm uh, for the rest of the night. Most of tomorrow should stay dry in the morning. As we go into midday and into the afternoon, the risk of a shower or a thunderstorm will increase. Once again, should be pretty isolated. Temperature is going to climb into the lower 80s, but it's going to be humid right through tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Now, the risk of some showers or thunderstorms around, especially through the evening. Then we catch a break by Thursday morning. Small chance for an isolated shower or storm, but that chance will increase once again as we go on into the midday and afternoon hours and once again. It's going to be warm and humid. Now, Friday is a little different. Friday morning, uh, most of the morning should be dry as we start to heat up through the day. I'm waiting on a cold front, and that cold front will push through here later Friday afternoon into Friday evening. And this is what I'm more concerned about some stronger thunderstorms out and ahead of this cold front on into Friday evening and early Friday night. So I'm going to watch that closely. The risk is there for a stronger storm before we settle down into the weekend. 63 tonight, isolated shower or thunderstorm possible. Just pointed one of those out across Mercer County tomorrow. 83 warm and humid. The risk of showers and storms, especially into the afternoon and evening, but it's not going to be a washout. On Thursday, the risk of a shower or thunderstorm, especially through the afternoon once again, uh, not an all day rain event. Highs in the low 80s, the humidity will stick around. Friday, we should start the day dry, but by afternoon, the risk of showers and storms will increase, and some of those could be strong later in the day and into the evening. Saturday, we're behind the storm system. The cooler air starts to spill on in, and the biggest part of the weekend looks pretty nice. Lower humidity and definitely cooler temperatures, but it looks like that drying trend only lasts a couple of days. The risk of showers and storms return early next week.